Hey guys, how's it going? It's Constantine the Third here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about dealing with bad support players very briefly. So I get this message a lot, I get this question a lot about I'm in silver, I'm in bronze, I'm in iron, I'm in gold, blah 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 blah. I get bad supports very often, and they'll get hooked, and they'll miss their hooks, and yada yada yada, and they'll feed, and there's nothing I can do about it. And I wanted to make this video to highlight that it may seem that way, but you're probably misinterpreting opportunities that can arise out of your support getting hooked or missing their skill shots or whatever. Because, trust me, up until the very highest levels of play, which even I'm not at yet, I'm talking challenger, grandmaster level, you can still make up for your support being bad. And to highlight this, here's a clip from my stream I want to show you guys so we can talk about this. Let's look at a situation to where it appears as if my support is throwing and playing badly, and the situation does go south for us, but I explain how I could have actually salvaged the situation. <laughs> about okay first of all first thing to say is what the fuck was that auto right okay they missed I have this big shield but like I walk in for an auto for like literally no reason it's like I don't know why I'm running out of Draven like I just lost half my health bar there for like literally no reason huge mistake like look at this this is so stupid like insane like i i should have noticed that they're not in my range anymore and just backed out like no reason to continue to overcommit for the trade so i lose half my health for no reason and then where does it happen it's here yeah okay so obviously like my support gets hooked but whatever who cares i could play around this also like look how far apart these two guys are right like they're like a million miles away from each other so this guy doesn't even get an auto off so i e him away well, it's interesting, because if I would have committed to um, the fight, probably would have hit Thresh Box, right? Okay, here, though. I guess eing... Oh, my God. I guess eing him away was fine. I don't know. It's like... So I heal her while she's ignited, which, like, does practically nothing. And, like, also, like, during all of this, right? Like, Thresh is on cooldown. Like, he has nothing. Like, there's literally nothing in his kit left. Like, why am I running away? Like, why am I not just autoing this guy the whole time? You know? It's like, like what can he do to me? He has no ult. He has no flay. He has no lance. Like, he's got nothing. It's like, yeah, and, like, Draven flashes forward here, but, like, whatever. It's like, only now do I, like, go back on him. And it's like, if I would have been autoing that whole time, he was dead. Like, think about it, Twitch chat. Like, we're here. I pop ult and just start unloading autos into this guy. Like, even, like, maybe not there, but, like, here. I just... Let's, how many autos could I have gotten this whole time? Okay. Reasonably, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I could have gotten five autos that whole time. Draven wasn't even looking to fight me, and I got one. It's like, you tell me if you think five autos would have killed this guy at this HP. 100%, right? He was dead. Huge misplay. Absolutely terribly played by me really stupid too it's like i i should be better than that i should know that like if somebody is uh if a support is on cooldown like that i should just be hitting them the whole time like absolutely no reason not to do that now here how did i even like jockey myself into a spot to where i was letting this happen oh this guy was just greeting for tower plates okay so thresh through the hook so now i should like uh Whatever, I'll just get rid of Karthus. Okay, I guess I'm not getting rid of Karthus. I refuse to ban Draven or Lucian. I need to learn how to beat them without copping out. Okay. So, let me let me remind myself how I got here. Okay. Here's an interesting one. Like, Thresh ran into my auto range and I did an auto. That's wrong. I guess I'm afraid of the hook, afraid of the hook, which, okay, I narrowly dodged that. But I see that he's, like, overcommitting to, like, the fight. Okay, like, this right here, easiest E-flash on the Draven of my life. Like, still, still, uh, maybe not here. Actually, no, just E-flash, like, right here, 100%. I get the auto. I flash, I flash the flay, I predicted. That was not bad. 
Yeah. Okay, but, like, still, like, going back, like, right here. Like, this, right here. Like, right here in this spot. I should immediately E-flash him. I don't know why I didn't. Like, honest to God, I don't know why I didn't. And if I E-flash him, I also would have dodged that. And then I would have had, like, probably this much health right here. I would have killed him. So that's, I would say, where we lost the game. Um, that was my throw. That was 100% my throw right there. If I would have played that better, like I said. That 1v2 is really cool. I mean, yeah, it was, but, like, I could have killed both of them.